So we are going to color our character. I want to show you something here. Down here is my ink layer. And on top of it, I'm putting another layer and I've gone from making it normal to multiplying it. That way, we're going to keep the ink layer underneath and color on top. And there's a reason for this, and I'll show you after we're done coloring. So I'm going to grab some pink. Now I have a choice here. How do I want to make this happen? So I'll go to my brushes. Probably go with a marker. Mm, okay. So I will uh, start to color. There's a number of ways I can do it. I can also take the fill and just change the color automatically, which is easy. And if I want to try for some texture, I can change to a brush. Find a good color. In the color editor. And uh, lay it in. Now, it, every program for drawing is different, but they essentially all work the same way. But it gives you unlimited options as to what kind of, what shades you want to work with. And what's nice about doing it on computer is you can easily undo or you can uh, change to find the color that's just right for your character. I don't even worry about having to go uh, within the lines because this color layer is is in multiply mode. So it means the black line underneath shows through. What happens if I go over the white space? Like in the eye? Can I erase it? Oh yeah, you can erase it. Oh wow. I'll finish up coloring this quickly so I can show you why I put the color layer on top. Okay, so we have our ink line, we have the color layer in multiply on top, so in between I'm going to put another layer. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to come up here and make it screen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick a color. Now I'm going to make this black li line become blue. Oh, wow. And it's not going to change the color of the character at all. It's only going to affect the black line. Now by 
just coloring the black line, it adds a whole new dimension to the coloring of your character. Yeah, his clothes, you can add, since he's got red pants, I'm going to give the, the outline a dark red uh, color. And you can go gray for the gloves. Dark orange for his shoes. Now, we've done all that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go on top to the top layer and add another layer here. Then I'm going to get a really nice bright blue. And then I'm going to come in on just one side of him. I'm going to add a little highlight. It's as if there was a blue light just beneath him. So everything on the bottom left side, here and there, I'm going to add a little blue highlight. It just adds to that three-dimensional quality. Fur wouldn't really have it, but sometimes just a little bit of blue there makes him pop. I've learned all these tricks just by watching other artists I work with. I picked something up from everyone, brought it all together. I mean, everybody does it. You just find what, uh, what works for you. You bring it together and you make it your own style. Mm -hmm. That's how you color. <laughs>